good day everyone. It's Camping Cassidy from Casper, Wyoming. We're going to walk through a 2023 Jayco J-Flight 267 VHSW. Now, in my opinion, being right at 30 feet, coming in at 6,200 pounds dry, 7,500 grossed out, is this the perfect family cruiser? To some yes, to some no. You know, the thing I think a lot of people get into is they get into buying maybe one too small, maybe they get into buying one too big. This is kind of right in the middle. I mean, are you gonna have kids with you? Are you gonna have dogs with you? To have a full super slide on this and double over double bunks, I mean, it really fits a lot of areas and keeps the back of your truck open for whatever you want to put in the back. Four-wheeler, motorcycles, bicycles, uh, kayaks, etc. So this really hits a lot of areas that I think is super ideal. Now this particular one is a Twin Falls, Idaho based uh, unit. This is West Coast production. So it's kind of tailored to the mountain states uh, in uh, in their size and floor plan. So this particular one does have the Baja edition on it. So that gives us a flipped axle uh, on this, 16 inch wheels and larger freshwater capacity. This thing's holding 76 gallons of fresh water on board. That's more than most fifth wheels uh, we see today. So that is a incredible uh, amount of water. But Let's walk through this thing and just take a look at it. So we have an outside kitchen here. So we do have a 110 fridge. Well, like I always say, throw a block of dry ice in that thing and uh, you're gonna be good to go to use that off grid. A couple nice little drawers here. I want you to see plywood. You're not gonna see any chipboard, any OSB in a Jayco ever, ever, ever. Um, it is always plywood all the time. All right, so I was referencing our 16 inch wheels and I wanna show you guys the old knuckle test here. We got a steel lined wheel well on here. So in the event of a flat tire on the open road, uh, you're gonna be protected on that, not get everything tore up. We do have a mount. You can bring the TV from inside this coach, bring it outside if you want to. We have all the hookups for that as well. Solid entrance steps on this coach. So in this price segment, um, a lot of competing brands against the J-Flight do not have tinted windows. When it's 105 degrees out at the lake, when you have a clear window, what do you think is gonna happen? It's gonna heat this thing up inside like crazy. So I promise you, even something as simple as tinted windows is going to be a help to you for sure. So this is got a two plus three year warranty, two years front to back and a third year limited structural warranty. So I want to show you on our awning, this is adjustable pitch hardware. So you can really crank that thing down, give you some rain runoff, little shade options, etc. So we've got magnetic door catches, Nice little pass-through storage, and we have the tray for a griddle. This is prepped also with the observation system. So if you do want to get cameras on the left and the right and the back, you can monitor all that from inside the pickup. All right, so on our front here, we have three-quarter metal that meets diamond plate. Now, Jayco just doesn't put diamond plate above with nothing backing. This is actually a laminated piece back here that is very strong. It's gonna take the rigors of the road. So power tongue jack. We've got 30 pound propane tanks, part of our Baja edition there. So something that Jayco does and not a lot of manufacturers do, integrated A-frame. That is built in, tied into the main frame. It's not stacked and tack welded. A lot stronger system. Uh, as well as more outriggers, more cross members than any other manufacturer. You've got a battery rack that's in set here. A uh, lot just stack them on top. This is nice and in set. It's going to keep those batteries cradled on board. All right, over to the utility side of this coach. Got the utility side of this thing. So, 
So we've got an outside shower here, hot and cold. Black tank flush on board of this, city water connection. Now down here, we do have our, our dumps. They're labeled with decals and they're color coded gray for gray, black for black. Now this has got the thermal package. So we have an enclosed underbelly on this coach. It is heated via a duct from the furnace and it does have a layer of insulation in there, fiberglass insulation with a reflective uh, foil on there. Now that's not hot dog paper, folks. That is actual reflective R14 uh, insulation in there. All right, our bumper doubles as a sewer hose holder, matching 16 inch wheel and a six gallon DSI. It's an auto ignition. Boy, that's really on there. Um, water heater that will run gas and electric. Little pro tip, flip those on at the same time while you're showering only. Catch a little faster recovery. Let's go rooftop. All right, y'all, here we are up on the roof of the 267 BHS Dub J Flight. So we are standing on top of Jayco's Magnum Trust roof system. So it's kind of hard to believe, but these roofs are actually rated for 4,500 pounds. They literally have it shown on Jayco.com, showing the full roof of these full of center blocks. I guarantee most manufacturers would not want that happening. Most of these things you don't see with ladders even on the back of them. If you see a stick and 10 travel trailer without a ladder on the back, that means the roof was not meant to be walked on. So not only do we do standard ladders on here, they literally rate these things for 4,500 pounds. That just goes to show you what kind of strong coaches uh, Jayco builds. All right, let's take a look at the rest of this. So this one does have an upgraded AC. This is a 15,000 BTU Coleman Mach air conditioner. That's gonna freeze you out. We have a Weingart Air 360 digital TV antenna. And the over, oh, I lost my balance there. Uh, we have our Overlander solar package on this. This is a 200 watt solar panel and that's feeding a 30 amp controller inside. So that's going to do an awesome job at keeping those batteries at bay. But enough about that. Let's go inside and take a look in there. All right, guys, let's go check out the inside of this thing. All right, coming up on board the 267 BHS WJ flight. So a few things I want to point out in here, we do have in floor heating. You know, that is just like your home. I think the real upsides to that is, you know, that helps heat the floor, it helps heat water lines. Having that in there, opposed to coming out of cabinetry somewhere, is definitely gonna heat the unit a lot better, and it's not consuming your cabinetry space. Another big thing I want you to notice that was new for last year, but it's still a great feature, we have no carpet in this coach. It is gone, gone, gone. So that's going to be nice and keeping it a lot cleaner. So in here, we're in the modern farmhouse interior decor. And I think Jayco just does a really nice job with the building of all their glued and screwed cabinetry, solid wood on all of this stuff. You can see that in all the construction. Got 75 pound drawer guides on that. May not sound like a big deal, but I guarantee if you have a drawer that breaks, it will be a big deal. So we have stainless steel drying rack, cutting board over a 50-50 sink with pull down faucet, little independent lighting. You know we got the USBs up in here these days all over the place. We have a nice glass cover over a three burner cooktop. Got 9000 BTU burner at the front. And that thing is removable, so you can clean that super nice, super easy. And then you just got to hit the holes to get it back down in there. And we have the propane flow checkers there, so you can keep tabs on that. So this one's got a Norcold gas electric fridge in it. And this is going to be an 8 cubic foot, so definitely bigger than your standard 6 while we're here. So in most units, you're gonna find directional AC ducts, but something Jayco does 
on theirs is that you can actually, not only can you shut them, but you can direction them. So that's gonna really help you fine tune where you want that cold air to go. So let's check out this. This is really a beauty of a, of a pantry. Like it's super, super wide. And depending on the load of your groceries, maybe you wanna remove these two shelves and you have a huge wardrobe. So that's gonna give you some nice options. All right, in the back, so our double over double bunks. These are rated for 600 pounds uh, each, each bunk. So these are not just for kids. Bring the bring some friends along, and uh, and you're going to be able to sleep anyone on these on these bunks. We also have AD, AC ducts up in the top there, and we have USBs on the top, and just a 110 on the bottom. So we have some nice options there. All right, let's go back, check in the bathroom on the way back here. Got our little sink area. Some storage down below, have some access to the outside shower. This little medicine cabinet. Now this commode, it is a plastic commode, but it is a foot flush. Now up in the shower, this is the six foot three test here and it passed. So we got a little room for a little bit more space, like the built-in shelves. And we have a nice shower head that's been enlarged and it still has that valve. You can shut that on and off. Good shelf over here too. And I also encourage you guys, if you're trailer shopping, jump in the shower base and hopefully your salesperson doesn't get mad at you because he's afraid it's gonna break. You're not gonna find that in the Jayco fully uh, boxed uh, solid wood with foam block on top of that thing and it uh, does a great job so all right we got a booth dinette here now this is going to give us some storage below and i want to show you guys too no uh, no chipboard in here so now Let's, uh, let's take a quick look at this thing and look see what this looks like in the down position. All right, now that we have this made up into a bed, I just want to show you guys what this looks like. Now this is gonna be a little little small for me, but you know what, if I'm the, I'm gonna have to be maybe the bigger of the little spoon here, and I think it will work. It's also a great place if your wife throws you out of the bed. You do have a somewhere to go that's still relatively comfortable, but ideally these are great for kids and whatnot, but I think having some additional sleeping never hurts anything. So let's move over to our trifold sofa. We do have USBs at the back here. We've got some nice storage up top, strutted storage. And good sitting here, but I don't think people will need this much sleeping but you know what it's there if you need it we do have a trifold sofa it will fold out super fast super easy and pull that down there flip that down now this should be about 72 inches here yep that's about 72 inches so Again, another comfortable sleeping area where you can throw someone if needs be. Let's put that back up. The nice thing is you can still walk around this. It's not consuming space. Like some trifolds or some hide beds will come out and totally block your, your walking path. This still leaves room that you can function in your unit. All right, over to our entertainment area. Got storage up top, 32 inch flat screen, and that will hook to, to, a, to a 12 volt, so you can run that off 12 volt power. We have an AM, FM, Bluetooth uh, stereo with a USB plug on there as well. And room for a little more camping gear there. All right, let's go into the bedroom. Now, I think this particular model, so this has sliding wood doors, real wood doors. 
I think that's kind of nice for keeping the noise out, uh, you know, or in. Um, so over a curtain. So I think that's kind of helpful. So there's our 30 amp solar controller. You know, how strong that is. That is braced for a TV there. So if you do want to do one in the bedroom, I think the angle's a little weird, you know, with laying on the bed, but nonetheless, it is there. All right, so we got wardrobes in both sides, 110s on both sides, and I definitely enjoy when they do these bases next to the bed. Just you always have places maybe put your cell phone, glass of water. I think that's good. Got storage up top, and then independent lighting. Let's check out under this thing. So the, we have strutted storage in, in all wood. We got our capital griddle down there in the box that will go on the J Port tray. So definitely a great unit, guys. If you're looking for something, maybe it's your first camper. Maybe it's your second or third, but you're wanting something not too big, not too small. You don't want to be cramped down on maybe a non-slide or maybe a small slide floor plan. I think this being a super slide really opens it up. The goal is to be outside most of the time, obviously, when you're camping. But if it's raining, it's snowing, you need somewhere to go and you want to be comfortable. I think this is a great uh, choice for a bunkhouse. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell to be notified of our latest content coming at you. And uh, if you have any comments, please hit them down below. And thanks for watching. Again, I'm Cassidy with Smith RV, Casper, Wyoming. Have a great day. Thanks.